Hello everybody, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. And this is the fourth installment, I believe, of the making the longboard skateboard for the first time. I just got back from Lowe's. I picked up this fast drying polyurethane, clear gloss, and this Rust-Oleum crystal clear enamel. I'm gonna spray them on a sample piece of wood just so I get an idea what they look like and how they affect the wood. But most likely I'll use this guy, I think three coats, and then after everything dries, maybe apply this, I'm not really sure. So we'll see. Okay, so here's the polyurethane. Let's see if it has any effect. Yeah, so I don't know if it shows in the video, but I can get an idea that it does change the color and kind of brings out the grain of this wood. Okay, here is the crystal clear enamel. Let's see if I can... Ooh, okay, that's nice too. So it seems like either one of these would work. All right, so here's the board unsprayed. Kind of flip it over. Let y'all see how it looks. Made with a 24 inch wheelbase. And now I'll get to spraying over it and I'm gonna sprinkle sand onto that spray as kind of a grip tape. Okay, here's the polyurethane. Now, feel free to critique my application process. I am not really that proficient with um, these type of things. So if you have any advice, please let me know. Now that I have that sprayed on there, I have this colander with sand, and I'm gonna sprinkle it on top as a grip tape. Now I'll let it dry and I'll come back and do uh, some more coats in I think every two hours. Hello everybody and good morning. This is um, the next day after applying four coats of, let's see, the Mini Wax Fast Drying Polyurethane. I took about two hours between each coat so I just set an alarm for that and just came out and, and sprayed. I moved it to the front porch mainly because there was a little threat of rain last night so I wanted to make sure we you know it didn't get wet. Anywho so let's just look at it we'll see how the sand adhered or didn't adhere and we'll um, just take some measurements. So first of all sand. Some sand feels loose some sand feels adhered. I'm thinking that I might take the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel and do a spray of that. Maybe that will help um, create a thicker coat to adhere the sand. And the whole purpose of the sand sprinkled on there is uh, from the aspect of the, you know, making a grip tape. All right. Let's flip this over. And here we go, here's the other side. There, I have a little bit of gap. Um, whenever we had applied and glued, we did clamps horizontally, so I should have paid more attention to just pushing it in that direction. But I'll do kind of a video of um, all the mistakes, all the ideas that came through and people suggested. Let's do a few measurements. All right, overall length. We went to a little bit over 35, so 35 and about a quarter. Wheelbase, I wanted 24. And yep, we got 24 right there. It was pretty funny. Um, working with Bill, he kept on trying to do the wheelbase as is common with, I guess, everything else from the back of the wheel to the back of the wheel. Okay. Did we get a little bit of 10, more than 10 inches wide? Yeah, we got 10 to a, 10 and a quarter right there. 
then stay flat a little bit and then it tapers down to it should taper down to nine right here let's see a little bit more than nine yeah, about nine a little bit over an eighth like nine and a quarter okay let's take it out to the sunlight and spin it around Okay, I have it sitting on a piece of um, paper towel, uh, mainly because once I did it there, I was going to do it on concrete, but the paper towel, you can see the reflection of the paper towel in the uh, board itself, so that gives you an idea that there's that gloss taking place. And this is it out. Oh, we got a little bit of cloud coverage, but there it is, the board being rotated. These are little marks from whenever I was using the sander. I could have used sanded that out, but I thought I would just kind of leave that in for a little aspect, a little character. All right, the next video will be whenever I figure out what trucks and wheels I want on it and take it for a test ride. I'll see you all soon, and let me know what you think down below, what would you do different, uh, any questions, comments, and y'all take care.